years ago it was all about the lions, but they've since been joined by a host of other animals. I'm here with my old friend Darren Beasley. Hi, Ben. And some lorikeets. Look, they are desperate for this. They are beautiful. Aren't they wonderful? These are, are called rainbow lorikeets. Um, and look, it looks like someone's painted them. We're every colour of the rainbow. Um, and lorikeets have, have brushed tongues. So they eat nectar, and so we supply them a little bit of nectar here. And this really is all about the, the people who come to visit Longley getting a close, immersive experience with this magnificent wildlife. Absolutely, you're quite right. Lord Bath said, you know, bring them into the safari park and track the people in the cars. Well, now we're taking all the barriers down, and, and you're coming in this huge aviary, and the birds come and go as they please, really. But for us as a keeper as well, it's, it's, it's wonderful, because what I'm doing now, secretly, is I'm looking at toes. I'm looking, when I felt the way like a, a health check? Absolutely, Hello. because they get so close. Right, so what are the things we need to look for? Hello. Right, when we have them uh, here, we're looking for <laughs> we're, we're looking for good feather condition. Yep. Uh, we're looking for toes. Are there any nicks? Because, you know, they can nip. They are parrots. You know, yep. they, they can bite each other. Um, and, and also, you can feel the weight. It's, okay. it's an absolutely great way for us to get close. If this was a, a free flight Avery without us coming in, you'd have to peer through the mesh. You know, you'd have to... You just wouldn't be able to get close. So. Have I got something on my head? I'm afraid so. <laughs> Is there something on my head? I can't tell. It feels... So where are these guys actually from originally? Uh, the lorikeets come from Australasia and Southeast Asia. Um, these are actually, we call them rainbow lorikeets, but they're actually a, a particular type of rainbow lorikeet. Swainson's lorikeet. And what about this noise they're making? If you, if you live where these guys come from, you know, pretty, pretty vast expanse of space, they've got to talk to each other, so they need to be loud. You know, Darren, I had forgotten how ridiculous and wonderful your job is. You're, you're like the real-life Dr. Doolittle, you know. I'm a lucky, lucky man. You really are. Well, Darren, thank you very much. It's been amazing to meet some of your lorikeets. Who knows, maybe they'll be here in another 50 years.